you for being here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Thank you. I bet you all never thought I'd be up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. As I understand it, you couldn't not be here after oh. living and moving away. This was the place that was home for you. So this tell me home. a little bit about how that new beginning got to, got to be coming to be true. Well, we started with St. Paul's over 35 years ago. And my husband with the last name of Bonino, of course, was Catholic Italian. And so we tried the Catholic Church, and I won't say which church it was, but it didn't work out at all. <laughs> and I finally said to him one day, you know, I'm going to St. Paul's. You know, you can join me or you can stay in the Catholic Church. He joined me. And we came, and we really liked it, and we really enjoyed it. And we hadn't been here that long, and there was a, a time when they voted a young, the, a graduating senior, to come and do the sermon. Oh, yes. And this girl, young girl stood up and she was drop dead gorgeous. And she was so eloquent. And she was just, the personality, it was fabulous. And when we were walking out, I said, how would you like to be, look like that, talk like that, and act like that, and be starting out in life? I mean, she's going all the way. And she's going down to Southern California to college. I gotta do this without crying. And it was a short time later, we came into church and everybody was in tears. And we found out she had been killed by a drunk driver on El Camino. Mm -hmm. It was so sad and it was so difficult and it was so tough. And the fact that everybody pulled together and was so caring about each other and each other's feelings and what was happening. Mm -hmm. And I looked at Bob and I said, we found our home. And he said, mm -hmm. yes, we did. Yes, we did. And it was just, it was very emotional, but it was, that's what brought us here. And it was, it was all good. It was all good after that. The strength mm -hmm. of that love that mm -hmm. it holds us in, in life's joys and sorrows is absolutely such a power. And everybody was so worried about everybody else and how their feelings were and how they could get through it all. It was very, very emotional. Very emotional. And it was, it, it, it brought us in. Then uh, in the early 2002, I took early retirement and my husband said, great, we're moving to Sonoma and we're going to have a vineyard. And I'm like, oh, God, oh, no. I'm so not a farmer. And I know the wine business has been really romanticized. It's not. It's farming at its worst, believe me. <laughs> I've been there. I've been up the crack of dollar boots on tromping through a vineyard. Anyway, so when, unfortunately, so, so we started going to all the churches up in Sonoma County. And I finally said, this is not doing it for me. I'm going back to St. Paul's. And so we agreed that once a month, we get up at 4.30 in the morning, and we come back to St. Paul's for 8 o'clock church. We did it for 17 years. Wow. And when he unfortunately passed away suddenly three years ago, I couldn't sell that property fast enough to move back. So <laughs> I'm home. I'm home. I feel like I'm home. Well, so it's we, all good. We are so glad that that new beginning brought you back to the place where you yeah. felt such connection and belonging. And I've certainly been hearing that in all the stories that folks have been sharing about why this community is so special and why it is such a, an important part of our lives. So thank you for well, I making it what it is. I want to thank you for being here. Oh. And thank you. And thanks to the search committee, you did a terrific <laughs> job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're all so lucky to have you. Well, so I'm very so lucky. lucky to be here. And we are growing together in this expression of what it means to be awake to, to the things that are in our community. Um, you know, we had recently another such um, car accident and one of our parishioners was nearby and this healing team has been thinking about ways that we can not only offer that nurture and care mm -hmm. within our walls but into folks who are right mm -hmm. here our neighbors and those who are um, longing for God's presence to be revealed so thank you for helping me, helping us remember that it is both sides of the coin the, the joys and the sorrows that God meets us and and holds us well that's what got us here well, it is wonderful, and I'm so glad you've come back. Yes. Oh, I'm too. Oh, I'm too. <laughs>